Today we're going to take a look at this mini smartphone. This is the Unihertz Atom, and it's got a few very unique features. One of those being that it's IP68 waterproof rated. At least that's what Unihertz says. By the way, my fingernails have recovered. I'm still biting them, but they're looking better, so no band-aids today. On this channel, we've taken a look at the Soyuz XS11, the Jelly 2, and the Jelly 2E. And I'm here to tell you, after using the Atom for just a few days, I'd have to say that it is my favorite mini smartphone in my collection, and today I'll tell you why. One of the main reasons I like it so much is for its durable design, which I'll go over after I'm done drying this off, and I'm glad to see that it really is IP68 rated. Basically waterproof up to 1.5 meters of fresh water up to 30 minutes. As for some quick specs, it runs a MediaTek 6763 octa-core at 2.0 gigahertz. Unfortunately, it only runs Android 9, but interestingly, it still ran all the games I wanted it to, even Apex Legends, which I'll show you later in the video. It has four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, and it has a 2000 milliamp hour battery. The front glass of the LCD is made of Gorilla Glass, and the LCD is 2.45 inches with a resolution of 240 by 4. 432 pixels. The bezel is 18.8 millimeters thick, it's 45 millimeters wide, and it's 96.6 .6 millimeters in length. Another thing I like but won't use is this section here which is used for the lanyard that comes with the packaging. This will be super useful if you use this as an outdoor phone, which is what I'm definitely going to do. The front facing camera is 8 megapixels, and I'll show you guys some video samples in a few seconds. On the bottom here, you have the speaker as well as the home button. The home button is a touchpad, and I'm not a huge fan of that because when it gets wet, it doesn't function at all. Now, turning it over to the back, you have a loudspeaker here, and that's okay as long as your finger is not covering it. Then again, it's just for music. On this side, you'll have the micro USB-C port, this red button, as well as the power button. The red button is multifunction. Right now, it's set to the flashlight, but you can customize that red button to do whatever you want it to do. Next to the flashlight, you have the back camera, which is actually 16 megapixels, which isn't horrible. This reminds me, I want to show you guys some video samples. Now, this is my iPhone 8, and I go skiing with this pretty often, like once a week. But because of the cold weather, the phone freezes completely, and it turns off in about an hour, becoming unusable. So I thought, why not bring the Unihertz Atom Mini and see how it handles in eight degree weather in the mountains of Utah. In this video, I'm using the back camera of the Unihertz Atom Mini. And as you can see, the back camera is 16 megapixels and it doesn't look horrible. We're taking it right up to Solitude Mountain. Again, here's the back camera. Looking pretty sick, huh babe? And here's some other footage I took. Note it is in a camera mount on some ski poles that my friend gave to me. As you can see, the camera has no stabilization features built in, so there's that. You're definitely gonna get better quality using a GoPro, but then again, you cannot put a SIM card into a GoPro and make phone calls or text messages. In my opinion, this is the perfect outdoor phone just because it can fit into any pocket. And in this weather that I'm recording in here, it was sub 10 degrees. And I had this in my pocket for the five hours that we skied. Not only did the phone never freeze due to the cold weather, but it didn't even slow down and I was able to use this the entire day. When I took it out of my pocket, the battery had not even drained quicker than normal. So that was fantastic. This was the phone after a full day of skiing. It's looking better than ever and it didn't even slow down. I will be using this many, many more times in the future, whether I'm hiking or if I'm skiing. Now, when we're talking about carrier compatibility, I received mixed signals on what carriers would and would not work on Unihertz's website, so I'm going to leave that to you to look up, but I used a T-Mobile SIM card here, and it worked just fine. I just turned the phone off, put the SIM card in, turned it back on, and we were ready to go. Let's make a test call to my wife and see how it works. Hey, I'm just making a test call on that mini phone. How does it how does it sound? Clear 100%. Like as good as my iPhone? Yeah, just as good as your iPhone. Sweet. All right. I love you. Okay, I love you. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, my wife's a good sport. I love her. All right, let's run some games and see how they run. 
First on the list is going to be Apex Legends, which is very impressive. Dang, this loudspeaker packs a punch, that's for sure. So I launched the game and I'm in training mode and it seems to be very responsive. Now, the biggest issue is obviously my fat fingers and the small screen, but I was able to play fine and I didn't feel a lag or anything. Obviously, this would be the same online, but Apex Legends works and I don't have any doubt that I could play live on this thing. Pretty crazy that, that this is working, especially on Android 9. Very interesting. But if you want to play Apex Legends while you're on the ski lift, well, this is going to be your best option right here. It's pretty awesome, man. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to make a second video where I show you what games you can play on this mini smartphone, including Free Fire and Call of Duty. But in this video, I just want to show a few. As you can see, I connected my Xbox wireless controller, and we're going to see if we can play some Doom. As you can see... Does it play Doom? Yes, it plays Doom. I had to turn the lights off because the screen had horrible reflection and I'm not doing any screen recording videos right now. <laughs> I thought this was funny. Yes, it plays Minecraft. And I, I just think it's funny because the Xbox wireless controller is literally bigger than the phone we're playing on. But I have like 14 blocks in my storage. I don't know the Minecraft terms, but there was no change in speed of the game or latency issues. It's apparent I don't really play Minecraft, but for those who are Minecrafters out there, now you know that it works on the Unihertz Atom Mini. Now I do play Call of Duty Mobile, and unfortunately it took so long to load that I just gave up. I'm sure it will load, but we'll get into that on another video, so be sure to subscribe. I did want to show you guys that the security on this mini smartphone is pretty decent. I am setting up the fingerprint right here in this video. Super simple, you gotta add a pattern as usual, and then you just do different placement of your thumb on this little touchpad, and it's pretty simple. There we go, my left thumb is set up. I'm gonna test it with my right thumb to see if it unlocks. No, no, no. Ah, it read my left thumbprint just fine, so that's great. In the end, this is my absolute favorite mini smartphone that I own. Be sure to subscribe because I will be making more videos about this phone.